We have to tell you something. We're selling, selling the, the RV. RV. <sighs> we have to tell you something. We're selling, We're selling the selling RV. The RV. <laughs> We're Jenna and Jeremy. In August 2020, we bought an RV. In September 2020, we sold everything and hit the road full time. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. If you missed the last video, this is one of my favorite videos of all RV life. Go check out our Washington top nine places we visited. It's so pretty. All right, guys, the purpose of this video is to share with you the absolute chaos oh that went gosh. into what was the biggest transition it of our lives. So stressful, <laughs> but we managed to make it out okay. Really quick, let me set the scene though. We are trying to sell an RV that we live in full time while completely across the country from any of our family and friends. <laughs> and what's crazy about all that is, is we somehow managed to get everything lined up perfectly. And it is so crazy how often Jeremy and I think about the RV. Like the original dream before purchasing the RV to live in was to travel the world full time. Well, you know what happened and we couldn't do that. But we're yeah. doing it now. It was a, a little bit of a backup plan, ended up being amazing, but truly bittersweet to sell it because we really didn't have a good reason to. We were loving yes. life, but we have these other dreams. We just kept thinking we can travel the US whenever we want at some point in our lives. Yep. But can we go to these far away places on planes that take hours and hours in the remote areas around the world? Probably not. So more of that in future videos. But for this one, it starts with the house sit that Jenna secured in Washington that gave us a place to actually have a home base to offload everything in the RV, sell stuff, go to the post office, figure out what we're actually bringing with us, sell the RV, and then make it to the <laughs> airport. <laughs> Jeremy, how does it feel? Great, hopefully this will be last time doing this. Last time dumping poopy water, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> We're screaming through the windows right now and saying big turns. And let me just warn you, we do apologize in advance this week was crazy, so we're gonna have a lot of videos that are vertical, um, kind of all over the place. Yeah, and it was just nuts. We, <laughs> we could have really been uh, we could have been way more intentional about making videos to prepare for this. We weren't, but that exemplifies the chaos of what this week was. <laughs> All right, it is time to clear the RV. Oh my goodness gracious! Dang. It's our last day, last night in the RV, and we are about to get rid of everything and see what fits. Gosh, and what we, we go. pack. Yeah. Good luck and wish us luck. Here, we'll pay into what we have going on. Ready? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. There's trash, there's food, there's suitcases, there's duffel bags, there's luggage. Wow. All right, bringing all our junk into their garage. All right, Jeremy, let's see how much stuff we have. Oh my goodness. All this came from the RV, and we have to now downsize it to fit in luggage to fly home with us to Florida and then abroad. <laughs> We're getting sleepy and it's our last night in the RV. Oh, it's so bittersweet. Oh my goodness, so sad, but exciting for the future. Wow. Just chilling, hanging. And then I got a little buddy next to me. I got a little buddy. I got a little buddy next to me. Hey, buddy. That's my sock. I only have right. a little bit. Next time, if he gets one, we yeah. need to immediately cover the dog door so he's at least oh. stuck in the house. Oh, yeah, get it for me, If girl. I try to get it for oh. him, it's a game. Oh, oh my gosh. Moose. Ugh. There's my spike ball. Oh, well, there's some of it. Time for the big day. Saying goodbye to the only home we've ever owned. The new owners are on Instagram at Can We Bark Here, and you can check out their stuff. There goes our house. We just sold it. <laughs> All gone. Wow, that is bittersweet right there. Watching our home for the last 13 months be driven away. 
That's our house and car driving away. And we still have a couple more days at this house sit. And the only vehicle, which the owners very nicely let us use, is a manual, which I've never learned before. We are going to Goodwill, the post office, and Lowe's. The last three things on the agenda before we move officially. So far, so good. So what, you have to just keep moving it? Oopsie. Okay, Jeremy, how many times have we stalled? Uh, once. Just once. Yeah. Not too bad, and we were safe. I'm getting sick. Jeremy's armpits are sweaty. Oh my goodness, just left the post office and spent $150 to send our boxes home. And there was only two. And now we're rushing because I have to get back to go teach my class in the next 20 minutes. Goodbye. You gotta tell me where to go. So we have a pile going of keep, donate, sell. Somehow, I repeat, somehow we fit all our stuff into eight bags. And somehow, Jeremy convinced me to allow him to buy an $8,000 e-mountain bike to Back use in for April. a few months. <laughs> so I got about six months out of this bike. It's my dream bike. I got to ride it all around the country, <sighs> but now it is a huge potential snag in this plan because I need to sell it. We're not gonna keep it while we're abroad. We're not gonna ship it across the country. That and we've been pretty lucky with a bunch of the logistics that came with selling the RV and moving. One huge one though is my bike is not yet sold. It is an expensive electric mountain bike. I really don't wanna like lose a bunch of money on it, but the owners where we are house sitting are letting me keep it here, keep it for sale and sell it from their garage, which is a huge, huge relief. So things are looking up, let's go. So there were a ton of cheaper flights to get us home, but they did not offer a ton of baggage. Unlike Southwest, Southwest lets you have two checked bags, one carry-on and one personal item. So in total, that's eight. So our goal was to turn all of our stuff into eight bags. Um, and we did it. We flippin' did it. <laughs> This is this is our third attempt trying to find a ride on Uber or Lyft to get us to the hotel we're staying at, but we need something that can carry us, the driver, and all of our stuff, all of our stuff. And I don't think anybody has many Ubers and Lyfts out here in Port Orchard, so we're just sitting, like waiting. No, somebody come get us. <laughs> What are you doing? Fingers crossed. This guy doesn't cancel and we fit all of our stuff in his Jetta. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Us, him, and all this junk. Oh. <gasps> Trying to see if this car is big enough. We finally had someone say yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got it. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, we're in the elevator with our whole life of stuff. So much oh barely God. fits. Holy cow. Well, we took the city bus and we made it to the climber's gym. So they have a regular menu but everything that's plated in here is $3.25. So each plate you take, you pick out, and then the plate goes there when you're done. Well, Jeremy and I fly out tomorrow. I am taking a one-way flight to Florida. He's taking a one-way flight to Iowa to work. We're leaving here at 3.30 in the morning to head to the airport to find a Lyft or Uber at that time, especially an XL since we have so much luggage could be tricky, but the other day we got picked up by an XL and we told the driver our potential dilemma. He agreed to pick us up tomorrow morning. So we got a ride arranged and we're feeling good. All right, 3.24 a.m. We are outside of the hotel with all of our stuff on the street. Dodged a couple <laughs> homeless people. Um, it was kind of spooky. But anyway, uh, guy that I set up the ride with, haven't heard from, called him three times to voicemail. It rang, phone's on, that's Jeez. cool. But we just ordered another one as a backup. We gotta make it to the airport, so. Damn. We made it. This isn't looking too good because people have been here for an hour waiting and there's no one 
at the counter here at Southwest. You can't even use any of the kiosks. But it's so... People have been complaining all week saying that no one's showing up to work. Thankfully, everything went according to plan. I had a very successful sales week in Iowa. Jenna made it to Florida. We then reunited the next week and spent the next month visiting as many family and friends as possible before flying out in December to Costa Rica. You guys, it's time for bed. You can't be playing monkey. Let's go! Woo! What were you telling me earlier? You said that Jeremy and I were what? Poor kids? Yeah, you said we were poor. Why did you think we were poor? Because you had no cars. And, 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 and no house. And, and no house. Because we sold the RV. Mm -hmm. We made money. We're not poor. Say woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, we're gonna book our next Airbnb stay. Gosh, so it would be fifteen forty-six. There's a thousand dollar monthly discount, bringing what? the total for a month to six forty-nine. Today is the day we're moving everything out from nine bags to five, so that we can travel abroad with four backpacks and one rolling. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Maybe we should make the bed first, but this is all our stuff that we need to pack into our bags. Just days before leaving, we decided to ditch the giant suitcase and just go with two backpacks each front back so that we can have all of our things on us and not actually check any luggage most of the time as well. We just got dropped off by Jenna's parents. We said goodbye to the fam. You're here at Extended Stay America. And we fly out on Wednesday. Wednesday. Switching SIM cards without the tool. What do I want to use to improvise my <laughs> pearl earring? That is so clutch. These things are see. so hard to do without that tool. Boom. Bye, Orlando. Next stop, Costa Rica. All right, Jeremy, what, what just happened the first few minutes? I don't have my ID. Really? Thankfully, I have my passport, so whatever. Oopsie, rookie mistake. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope this video was somewhat entertaining, maybe helpful in case you're preparing to do some big adventure like this. Stay tuned as we enjoy our international travels.